Welcome to SONIC, the Science of Networks and Communities Research Group at Northwestern University. The core mission of SONIC is to understand and enable networks. In a wide variety of contexts, we look at theoretical premises that help us understand why networks form and how they perform. I'm studying the pattern of scientific collaboration among researchers at Northwestern University. Um, I use the theories and uh, method of social network analysis and graph mining uh, to figure out uh, how they collaborate and why some collaborations are successful. I'm very excited to help manage and support an interdisciplinary community of undergraduate, graduate students, postdocs, programmers, and faculty who are passionate about understanding and enabling networks to help us address challenges and opportunities facing the society. There's an increasing prevalence of work being carried out in ad hoc, self-assembled teams. We use a tool developed here in Sonic called My Dream Team to investigate how teams assemble and also to enable the team assembly process. Just as Match.com helps us find romantic partners in our personal life, the My Dream Team helps us find collaborators in our professional life. I'm also working on My Dream Team platform and focused on developing the matching and ranking algorithms to provide individuals recommendations that will maximize effective teaming. I use text mining and uh, social network analysis to investigate the design structure of digital media to improve information sharing, uh, performance outcomes, and team cohesion. And we study uh, team composition inside of astronaut crews. Uh, these crews will be working for NASA and will be going to Mars for a long duration mission. Uh, it'll take a year for them to get to Mars. They'll spend a year on Mars, and then it'll take a year for them to get back. And so since they're in these tight quarters for a long period of time, it's important for us to understand how, uh, what factors contribute to effective uh, coordination and effective conflict mediation. In the first manned mission to Mars, an international team of astronauts from such countries as the United States and Russia will need to live together, communicate, and build lasting relationships over the course of the mission. So it is crucial to understand how these relationships evolve over time so we could prevent conflicts from building up and rendering the teams dysfunctional. The rise of the web has led to growing interest in tapping into the wisdom of crowd and user-generated content. My research is developing theories to explain how networks influence the crowdsourcing of designing and the reviewing creative products. My research focuses on multi-team systems or teams of teams. I'm particularly interested in how relational dynamics unfold within these systems and how that impacts performance. My research network is related with social movements and how they are performing in social media. Especially now, there are so many leaders and organizations who are performing their calls in these networks. So our interests are related with how leaders and organizations are performing in digital environments. My research looks at how we can use transcripts of discussion to observe group dynamics. I use a combination of text and social network analysis to explore changes in group cohesion, hierarchy, and shared cognition. At Sonic, my uh, research focused on using network and computational methods to study the emergence of interdisciplinary fields such as oncofertility and implementation science. I'm also working on a project funded by the National Institutes of Health to see the impact of networks on the dynamics of the scientific workforce. Six degrees of separation is the notion that anybody can be uh, connected uh, through six intermediary contacts. Here I try to explain an empirical puzzle uh, about the bridging ties in networks that are uh, responsible for generating this six degrees of separation. In addition to developing theories and methodologies that help us understand how networks form and perform, the Sonic Research Group is also committed to enabling these networks. In particular, we are developing socio-technical solutions that include software to help us assemble more effective teams, to help us understand who knows who and who knows who knows who, and to help us build scientific collaborations in a wide variety of contexts.